Now, I'm going to be tying a fly they call the magpie tail. Now, this is a Clyde style wet fly and the size I'm tying it is to suit fishing uh, in the late evening and through the night. And so it's tied in a size 12. You can go size 10s as well. Uh, the magpie tail is a, obviously the feather from the magpie tail and you're looking for one with the brightest green, a nice strong green when you can see it like there. Uh, basically it's quite a simple fly to tie. Uh, it's a black body with a silver rib, black hen hackle and the magpie for the wing. Now this is this dressing comes straight out of the, the Clyde book, uh, Let's Fish Again by Robert C. Sharp. Now famous Clyde man, uh, if, you, if you know anything about the River Clyde, he, he was one of the best known. Now thread I'm going to be using, this is the Piers of Silk, traditional silk in black. You could use a standard thread, uni thread or whatever you have, I'm just using the original. And that being a silk you've got to, it's best to wax it. Now we start the eye, just about a mill or so from the eye, and then we start our way down. We take away the waist, but what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to tie in a small flat silver tinsel, which is your rib. So basically that's what this is doing, it's taking over from the waist piece and we tie to the point of the hook and then I'm going to come back up. Just work your way back up to around a bit, maybe 2mm from the eye. And then rub your fly. Tinsel strong, so if you haven't got the tinsel just use a wire will still work. A couple of turns to hold, trim. Now, and then nice straight turns now, putting a base of thread down here and then coming back up. It's very important that before you tie the wing on you've got a nice base of thread. The thickness of the width of the wing is, some like it thin, some like it a wee bit heavy because it's a night to fly, they like it a wee bit wider. You just tie it to suit yourself. What I'm going to do here is take it Take out. There's a couple of ways you could just basically get the size you want. You use a dubbing needle and you just come in and you can separate it. Tail you can get a right and a left. So once I've done that then trim away. Try and keep them together. Now what I'm doing is just marrying up, or just bringing in the points so they're the right length. Just hold them. So the, if you want a perfect wing, uh, it will not make any difference when you go to fish it, because it will split, it will just come away. The length of the wing again, it's, it's up to yourself, there's some boys I know that tie it quite long. I'm going to tie it so it's just slightly by the bend of the hook, so there's the wing, tips have lined up, I'm going to pinch and loop, and the wing is sitting right on top of the shank. So I'm going to pinch and loop and allow the, these fibres here to come in and not the ones from the back, so do that again. Two turns, there should be enough to hold. Just check the ring, and that's fine. The less we handle the material, especially if you want it to look like it's perfect, you just the better. But as I say, don't worry about that. Now I'm going to get a... This is just a dyed black. It's a Chinese or Indian hen dyed black. Now you're looking for a, it says, long, quite a long fibre in the dressing, three turns. Now you could tie this in by the tip or in by the butt because they're quite a fine stem. Traditionally you should always tie the hen in by the tip and that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to bear the tip of the hackle, trim it, enough, just enough there about maybe two mil of a basically a tip trimmed away so that I can tie this in. I'm just holding this back. Now obviously make sure you wax the thread. Piezo silk is it's got a lot of grip. Two tons is a, probably equivalent to uh, maybe maybe four to six tons of normal thread or, to, or modern thread. So two or three tons in there. Cut it down. Come in with a hackle pliers. Three turns, just 
lightly draw it back with your fingers and then we do one turn in front of the other and there we go follow the hack a lot with the thread but a 90 degree bend into it make sure you tie it in I usually like to put two or three turns there just to make sure it's not going to move come in drop away the waist just draw it back just going to make a reasonable head keeping the thread always tight we can then put finish one one two three is enough tighten up trim away thread and there you go and that there basically is your magpie tail all we have to do is then a very light coat of varnish just to finish off all the way around now you can use a natural black or a dyed black it's up to yourself uh, hackle so this is dyed black then all I have to do is clean the eye and there we go so anyway, that's your uh, magpie tail and I hope you enjoyed that.